So I'll move in to number three, which is, it's actually monism, which means one, all is one, and it manifests itself as pantheism and panentheism. Explain these. They sound similar, but they are different. Pantheism is that everything is God. This used to be fairly popular. It's sort of lost prestige. Because if everything is God and you get cancer, then cancer's God. And if you smoke and you throw a cigarette butt on the ground, which is why you got cancer, the cigarette butt is God. People started wondering, seriously, like cancer and cigarette butts and mosquitoes, they're God? If everything's God, then yeah, that's God. So then they proceeded to move toward panentheism, which is that God is in everything. That God is not a person, he's a force. God doesn't have a name. He's just an energy that imbues everything. And so, whereas atheism says there is no creator, there's just creation. All we have is the material universe. The deist says there is creator and creation, but he has nothing to do with creation. Panentheism or pantheism, both monism would say, all we have is creation. There is no creator, but there is this divine force that fills all creation so that everything is sort of knitted together as one. Now, here's what that means. Good and and evil are one. What this means is, well, you don't come from God. You're not here for God. You're not here with God. You're not going to God. All there is is the material universe, and you are spiritually connected to the divine, and you're on your own. So good luck. Figure it out. Do better. Try harder. Spirituality. This is just general, vague, Western spirituality. Consciousness, yoga, meditation, go into myself, get in touch with the divine force. And here's the problem with this. If you didn't come from God and you don't belong to God and God's not here to judge you and God's not waiting for you in the end, as you're suffering and you're hurting and you see injustice and evil on the earth in your own life and that you do to others, the question is, where's the justice? Cry out in your heart because you're an image bearer of God. Where's the justice? The answer is, there isn't any. There's no judge outside of the system. All we have is what is, and good and evil are different sides of the same coin. It's all one. It's all one. So if you're hurt, damaged, raped, abused, abandoned, betrayed, you can't say that was wrong. All you could say is that happened. And you can't appeal to anyone because there's no one beyond creation. And you have no hope of a final judgment in the end, meaning if they got away with it, tough. There's nothing you can do, and there's no God to help. This is Deepak Chopra. This is Oprah Winfrey. This is Eckhart Tolle. This is, this is what was said on this very stage when I debated Deepak for Nightline. Can't talk about good and evil. It's all one. No. There's good and evil, God and Satan, creator, creation. Again, that that ideology, when life gets really hard, depression, you're abandoned, you're on your own. There is no God to help. Self-medication, suicide, suicide. 